How are we doing there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV. We're back on the road in the Edgar Mobile. We're off to an exhibition. We're going northbound on the M1 at the moment, driving up to Sheffield where we're going to be joined by Gerwin Price, Nathan Aspinall, Gary Anderson. That's something you're looking forward to, isn't it, Zach? Yeah, boy. And Ryan Searle, along with Antonio Alcinas and Sarah Murkowski, who I've got to play in the opening game, bit of a warm-up act. And then I'll be taking on Ryan Searle. That should be interesting because I've not actually managed to even pick my dance up for about three weeks. I had to have a week off with the, with the wrist injury and the treatment with that. Then I got kicked in the head, which you can see if it was on the other side. Um, so I'm stitched up at the moment. I'm only just allowed to start turning my head again. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Sometimes actually it works out quite well. We'll find out later on in the video if it works out quite well for me. But first things first, we've got to go to the hotel, get ourselves checked in, and then we're going to be meeting up with Mr. Searle for a spot of lunch. Shirt ironed, weekly dance cast, shirt of the year. I know I went for it early, don't forget it. This is shirt of the year, look at that, amazing. We've also got set up, we've got the GoPro set up on the handle. That's going to be Zach today being cameraman. Keep that in mind, there's going to be lots of never before seen sort of things with darts coming in the next sort of couple of months. So make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. I mean, you should be subscribed if you don't come across this content today, would you? But still, shirt's ready anyway. So now we're just going to wait on the left. Ryan's just getting changed and then we're going to head down to the venue. And when you arrive at the venue, the first thing you want to do is you want to go in and get a vibe print, get the feel for the venue and the experience. And as you can see here, it was a very good experience. Nice big walk-on area. We stood on the stage here at the back of the room. So nice big room. That'll be full of people later on. Lovely lighting effects. Two big screens at the very top there. So everyone can see every single dart thrown. So nicely under the microscope during the games. And a really good sort of atmosphere to sort of play darts in. Now, before that, we've got the meet and greets here. Some legends there you'll see on the side. Dennis Priestley there as well. I'm sort of next to Gerwin Price, Nathan Aspinall there, Gary Anderson, Ryan Searle, Antonio Alcina, Sarah and Russ Bray, all there as well. So the full lineup in the meet and greet, signing the autographs and the booklets. I had two games to play on the evening. The first one was against a young lady from Germany, Sarah Mulkowski. She plays a few darts on the ladies' tour and does quite a lot of exhibitions as well. Unfortunately, we didn't get any footage of this match blame Zach but it was a decent game actually a few tons 140 Sarah got a 140 herself but it was double duty for me on the night so I had two walk-ons and that doesn't mean that oh look at Russ going in for the the triple kiss there as well and it doesn't mean that the walk-ons got any less in time so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you one of the walk-ons but I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I might have took a little while I, I shook everyone's hand had a photo with everyone who wanted a photo signed everything that wanted to be signed took me about three minutes to get to the stage twice so I really did go through that one Ryan Searle there you see Ryan getting a cheeky kiss there at the start she weren't letting Ryan go past and I played Ryan this was a best of five game so the Sarah game was a best of three, the game with Ryan was a best of five. This was in sort of the night and everything that was going on with that. So if I beat Ryan, it would have been a game against Gerwin Price in the next one. Now I've got some footage of the game with Ryan Searle, which we'll have a little look over and show you a few little highlights and moments from within that match. Um. One hundred and forty. Ninety-seven. So I'm just going to pause it here. As you can see, I've just hit a 180 myself. Gave it a little bit of a celebration. These two darts for Ryan are in the treble 20. He misses the last dart. I'm going to spoil it for you. But on his way back, you'll probably be able to see him in this clip as well. He says to me, you was having it if that went in. 140. 
98. Mario Kart 85. Game shown the third leg. Marga. Fourth leg round to throw first. Game on. Forty one. Seventy five. Mario Kart one hundred and sixty. One hundred and twenty eight. Mario Kart forty. Game shown the fourth leg. Renzo. Fifth and final leg in Matthew Throw. I think you can tell by my reaction, I fancied that 160, I thought that was going to go, but Ryan Searle ended up turning that game round and taking it 3-2. So a couple more photos on the way back before it's time to enjoy the rest of the show. So two semi-finals were set up, Ryan Searle versus Gerwin Price. Gerwin Price taking this one against Ryan Searle and Nathan Aspinall, the recent Grand Prix runner-up against Gary Anderson. And Nathan also shared a prediction with us at the end of the game. I don't think getting 3-2. Getting 3-2, ladies and gents. Let's get ready for this awesome final. Thank you very much, Nathan Aspinall. And that was a result that Nathan Aspinall actually got wrong. Gary Anderson winning the day. And if you go over to the ZH Live Twitter page, you'll be able to hear from Gary Anderson in his interview here with Polly James, where he talks about he hopes to continue to write them off because he wants to turn things around. That's a good interview if you want to go check that out. The Twitter handle here is at the top for you. It's at ZH Live. That is obviously the promoter that we worked for the other day. And they will be coming back soon with a further exhibition in Cardiff. All details of that event and how to go and check out ZH Live are available. And you'll see here their website. And obviously go give them a follow over on Twitter. If you're wondering when you can next come and check me out in exhibition, that is just next week. I will be in Bradford on Wednesday the 19th of October with Gerwin Price, Michael Van Gerwin, Joe Cullen and Mark Webster. That promises to be another cracking night of darts. Before we move over to Skegness on Friday the 21st of October, where again Gerwin Price, Michael Van Gerwin, Mark Webster will be on the show, but we'll also be joined by Fallon Sherrick, Robert Thornton and Pete Burgoyne. So a couple of great nights of action that you can still come and check out. And like I said, don't forget to go check out ZH Live for all their future upcoming shows as well. Without a doubt, an absolute privilege to be working with not only the biggest names in darts on the dartboard, but also on the promotional side of things as well. I think you can tell from that video that the promotion and the production that goes into these shows is absolutely top-notch so if we come to a town near you soon hopefully we'll catch you soon on an episode of edgar tv because the cameras are going to go to every single one of these events so if you have enjoyed this video make sure you do hit the subscribe and i'll show you lots more footage and lots more never before seen type footage from these exhibitions and many more coming up in the future hope to catch you all soon See you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.